Hello babies. I'm grateful. I am so thankful. We've all got a history. We've got different journeys and byways that the Lord's led us by. Different valleys, different paths. And I have a testimony that though he lead me through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And uh, I had somewhat of a uh, difficult upbringing. I was conflicted as a youth, but I was on the Carson City Crystal High School football team nonetheless. And I've got a memory and I've got a bit of drunkenness and gratitude that I want to convey because I remember a victory one fall and being on a bus with my little 135 pound bench sitting self. And uh, we just had a complete um, victory party and they were, they, were, they were singing and there's a resonance that was occurring back then of these football players uh, singing Judas Priest you got another thing coming out there is a fortune waiting to be had and uh, setting us up and poising us for our future and it was there's a lot of glory on that and I wasn't aware of it back then but you know this memory is coming to me in the light of the glory. And I know that the Lord desires many times to unveil different levels of truth. And truth is a hard thing sometimes within us because of conflicts that we have and reconciling trauma and difficult periods. And that was a difficult period. I was really struggling with masculinity and I was wanting to bond uh, and be like one of the guys. and you know, secretly dealing with same-sex attraction and things of that nature. But you know what? There's so much glory in that, and I want to own that. I'm thankful for that period. I'm thankful for my little 16 and 17-year-old self at 135 pounds being on the Carson City Crystal high school football team. And no matter that I sat on the bench, no matter that I didn't enter the game, actually, I think I did one time, uh, but I was on the team. I was on that bus and that victory chant. You've got another thing coming. Out there is a fortune waiting to be had. That's mine, and I'm just owning it. Because, babies, there's nothing to be ashamed of. We have a whole lot of liberty to embrace the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the power of God for salvation to all that believe and so, when you were weak, then you were strong. And you know, I'm not a 135 pound waif anymore. And I'm not on a football team, I'm not running with a pigskin, but I've come to my own and I've got this memory and I was on that team and I was on that bus and I know that chant and that, that resonance is still vibrating in my body. I am a Carson City Crystal High School football eagle. And uh, nothing can change that, nothing can take that away from me and I'm tapping into it right now by gratitude. I'm drunk on gratitude. And I, and I know there's a lot of things in our lives. And there's, there's things that we would rather forget in different periods that we may have walked through. But I want to tell you that, that, that when God desires to redeem something, when he desires to exchange that shame and give you glory, there is a truth that comes to the surface. And when that truth comes to the surface, you don't run from it. You embrace the truth. God desires truth in the hidden part. In the inward place, he exposes that truth because light shines out of darkness in the place that you, by denial or addictions or different rituals or routines, have you know, you padded yourself from, you don't want to experience it. Jesus is joined with you in those places, even in your past. So embrace it. Boast in your weakness. Because that's the place where the divine exchange, that's where the place where the favor of Papa smiling upon his son is manifested. Boast in your weaknesses because that's the place where he's going to start layering the glory. And you know, I'm not a 135 pound waif anymore. And like I said, I'm not going to be running around with a football or a pigskin right there. I could. I want to. Maybe I will. But I've come to my own. And God's layered me. And I'm a little bit more than a... 135 pound wave these days. So, 
Boast on your weaknesses, baby. You, you got a whole lot of liberty to be drunk on gratitude, and that'll unlock a future that you wouldn't have attained unto otherwise. When something like that from your past rises, when a memory or an uncomfortable circumstance or, or an uncomfortable circumstance or something uh, that, that incites trauma within you is uncomfortable, embrace it. Jesus is with you. It's from that place that the glory, that the smile, that the cheer, that the laughter of heaven wants to burst out and exchange that shame and give you a whole lot of glory.